Unbelievable lob from Mitchell Kruger. And what wherewithal. He's got another break chance. Three straight games with a break chance. Wow. Have a day, Mitch. Have a day. In front of his hometown crowd, in front of his family, in front of his friends, Mitchell Kruger, his first challenger title. Four, six, seven, six, six, one. This is a young man who has been through the absolute ringer over the last several years. There are so many just compatriots of his who are absolutely going to be thrilled for him. You see him with his girlfriend, Jeannie. They made the move together back to Dallas. Dave Licker, a guy he's worked with now his dad, his mom is celebrating <laughs> with other members of the crowd here. Again, Mitch has trained here at T-Bar-M Racquet Club from the age of 8 to 18. He has had questions about his nerves at times, and if you saw him, some of the matches earlier in the week against Roberto Cid, his quarterfinal against Marcos Giron, you'd have those questions too. But today he held up admirably, and not only that, he was the aggressor down the stretch. Craig Carcino here with our 2019 RBC Tennis Championships of Dallas champion, singles champion, Mitchell Kruger. How good does that sound? It's amazing, it's amazing. First challenger, so great to have it here at T-Bar, I'm sure. Um, I know as a tournament, we are super happy, super proud of you. Um, why don't you walk us through uh, the first set? You know, you got down a break early, um, that held. But, uh, you know, you never gave up. You played such a high level. You broke through in that second set, you know, took it in a breaker, I think 7-3. And then you jumped on him early in the third and uh, probably some of the best tennis I've ever seen you play. Yeah. I mean, I, I came out a little nervy. Mackie was firing away from the first point. Sure was. And, uh, the first couple games, you know, I had a couple chances, on, especially on my serve, but uh, he played some good points. And basically through the whole first and early into the second, he was out serving me. I was barely winning points on his serve. Mm -hmm. And, you know, luckily I kind of found some footing on my own serve game. So I was able to, you know, keep a little bit of pressure on him until I actually got broken early in the second. And from... Once I got down that break, I kind of settled down and reset and definitely found a, a much higher level and started returning a lot better, started being in a lot more return games and serving a lot better and getting a lot of free points. And mm -hmm. yeah, and then especially in the third, no, I had a tight hold the first game mm -hmm. or my first serve game in the third and then turned on the, the afterburners after that and definitely played by far this year the best level. and. You know, best level I've played in a long time. No question. Time. You're talking about that third set. You know, uh, Mackey did not win one point on his second serve. I believe it was 0 for 8. Your returning uh, was phenomenal. Um, and even on the first serves, it seems like you got a read on it. A lot of depth on those returns. Um, you really look solid out there. Yeah. I mean, I, I thought I actually returned really well throughout the whole week. Mm -hmm. you know, indoors is all about serve and first ball and return and how you can neutralize and I thought I did a really really good job of that and you know after the first set in a few games of in the finals today I started getting some looks and you know from there I started being a lot more aggressive especially on second serve returns like you said and definitely paid off because you know indoor tennis is all about first strike sure you're exactly right you know I think towards the end of the second set and of course in that third set you know when you have such a great home crowd advantage you know we'll call it that mm -hmm. um, when you can look over to your booth and 
you know, box and see 20 plus people cheering you on, um, that has to get you over the edge as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's you can't even compare it to anything. You know, it's it was really nice because I've got my family and coach and my girlfriend in one corner, and then I've got basically all four corners of the court people yep. that I know that are you know cheering for me and you know giving me some energy and some excitement and yeah it was definitely helped me this week especially well, today this has been a, a great week of tennis uh, again so happy to have you win your first challenger here at T-Bar-M and uh, I know you're gonna have a great rest of your year and congratulations buddy thank you yep